Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video about these two things here. These are some of the latest flight controllers from Holybro. Now, Holybro, or Holybro, depending on how you want to say it, are one of those vendors that not a lot of us think of when it comes to flight controllers for things like our wings and quads. Now, lots and lots of us think of them when we're thinking about Pixhawk based builds. Go and check out the recent series that I did using Holybro components, both uh, Holybro 6C, I think it was, for a flight controller, but also the frame that they do as well. That was a really fun build. But I've had these two new flight controllers in to take a look at. Specifically, these two things are the Holybro H7 Kakute, the version 2, and also the H7 Kakute Mini. Now, both of these are pretty high spec pieces of kit. And I thought I'd show you them very briefly because I've got a cunning plan for one of them based on a lot of suggestions that I've had over the past couple of months, particularly while that uh, Holy Bro 6C Pixhawk series was coming on. So while I unbox the first of these, which is the Holy Bro Kakute H7, let me run through some of the specs. So this H7, surprise surprise, has a H7 processor. Uh, why is that important? Well, I'm planning running Arduino Pilot on this for the thing that I'm about to build, and having a H7 processor allows you to run certain things that Arduino Pilot can't run on slower processors currently. Has Bluetooth on board, eight motor outputs uh, in plugs, which is interesting for me because I really want to wire those plugs up to little PWM bricks so I can control servos and things with it because my idea, kind of letting the cat out the bag as I'm talking here, but is to put it in something like a plane. Also, it has 128 megabytes of flash for logging and it has a VTX on off switch, which is a nice idea too. Lots and lots of ports on this. It has six UARTs. Uh, UART 2 is for Bluetooth telemetry, but it also has a barometer on board. It has a VTX plug, which is a nice idea for those of us that like the DJI system or potentially something else. So that potentially for a little walk snow build could be a nice use here. USB-C connection. It does have that VTX on off switch, which I really like. It means that I can wire everything together because I tend to not plug in my VTX or DJI Air unit or my walk snow avatar or whatever until the GPS lock is done and I'm ready to throw it. Just stops it getting nice and warm sat there on the ground, essentially doing nothing. MCU on here is an STM32H7 processor and the IMU is a BMI270. Run on 2S to 8S and the mounting is standard 30.5 by 30.5 4mm M3 if you're using the grommets and it weighs about 8 grams. Again the default UARTs on here, UART1 is used for the DJI VTX UART2 is reserved for the Bluetooth, which is, I like the idea that it has a Bluetooth in here automatically. UART3 and 4 are spare. UART6 is receiver and SBUS, and UART7 can be used for the ESC. Really nice stuff on the website here about showing you how you can wire it all together into things like the DJI Air Unit. I think it would be nice if Holybro started to also include in their manuals how to install things like Walksnell 2. But also, beautifully in the manual, they're showing how to install the Crossfire or Tracer system, or good old Express LRS that uses the CRSF protocol as well as lots of other pieces too. So my idea with this is what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do another little mini series again with RD Pilot, probably RD Plane. And we're going to hide this away inside some kind of model, set it up with RD Plane, and I'll show you how to modify a board like this to fly a plane with a couple of servos. Um, lots of you have asked for this. So thank you to all of you that have. The fact that it has these kind of wires out for the first four motor connections, and it also has the little cable ready to uh, to work with something like a DJI system or a walk sound system means that this should be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for that series because hopefully it's going to be a much cheaper way if you want an RD Pilot build to use a board like this without going to the expense of a Pixhawk. But there is that other mini H7 Kakute that I have here. Now this is one that I'm probably not going to use. The seals are intact. So if you are interested in the Kakuta H7 Mini and you'd like to get hold of it to try it for something you'd like to do, 
I'm going to do it as a giveaway. So standard stuff. If you'd like to be in the draw for this, like, comment, subscribe, and also put the magic words Holy Bro Kakute H7 in the comments. And I'll do the draw in a couple of weeks. Thank you to all of you that stayed around. I do like hiding away draws for stuff in videos like this because when you say it's a draw it's really just a way to try and get people to view your videos and it's the regular viewers who suffer because everyone dives on desperately wanting some free stuff so stay tuned if there's anything also in particular that you would like to see in the series that i'm about to make with this with rd pilot and setting it up for a modern fixed wing then do pop that down below and i will see you in that little three or four video series where we'll go through basically the same process as we've been through in the past. I'll put links down to previous video series where we've used non-Pix Hawks with RD Pilot in Wings, but we'll do it with a modern flight controller with a nice fast processor and lots of UARTs and have some fun. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.